Okay, let's crack on. So hello everyone. Thank you for joining our session today uh, about MOOC and simulation software engineer interview. Uh, and we have very special guest today is Mohammed Mashrif, who is an engineering manager at Google in the UK. I will let him introduce himself, uh, you know, short, shortly, but just first, let me give you a quick introduction about our community and how our session will going to be running. So first of all, um, about our community. So we are running a DevOps community of practices and center of excellence, where we have many or more than 120 people uh, with several different or different level of experience. So we have more, we have people with more than 20 years of experience and uh, people just joined our graduated and juniors. So i just do a quick introduction for myself. It is Mohamed Moshref. I'm currently an uh, engineering manager, uh, site reliability engineering manager in Google and London office. I have been in, working in the software industry for almost 20 years now uh, between different countries and a mixture between big enterprises like Amazon, Microsoft, Boeing.com, and finally Google and a few startups. And yeah, we would be starting with problem solving. How many islands, but only unique islands. So if the island, two islands have the same orientation and the same shape, it counts as one. So in this example here, we have two islands. We have actually three islands, but two of them are identical. Mm -hmm. so the total is two unique islands. And that's the outcome that we're trying to find. So basically, if I'm understanding it correctly, in that case, one and one is an island. One and one and one, yeah. Yeah, and one zero is also an island, but... No, it is one and one and one. That's an island. Okay. That's okay. an L shape, inverted L shape. Okay. The one on the right on its own is another island. Uh, it could be like 50 by 50, or I can tell you it's like a million by million. If a million by million, it means that it will not fit into memory which means that you need to do like spilling over the hard disk so the algorithm would be completely different and one of the things that could also be here is uniqueness only based on orientation and shape or also the angle so we have an island that looks like an inverted l what if it looks like this would it be unique so you need to basically go through those questions they will upload the image the order manager will take the image and he will store it in the file system. And he will, and along with the image, he will provide also some extra details like email address, uh, uh, contact details. Also, I will store that and uh, some metadata of the image. Maybe I need to store it here in the image uh, data, in the image uh, metadata. And how, here I will store. How are you going to scale your system? How I'm going to scale my system? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, here, like for the order manager itself, it will be like um, it will be like a cluster of uh, nodes, multiple nodes. This is a high level uh, view. This is not a system design. This is what we call a high level architectural uh, design. So it's basically the user. If you look at this, it doesn't really, it's not really that much of a different from the one that you wrote. So basically we have something called the orchestrator. Uh, the user at the beginning would open the application, would call the orchestrator to bring a list of, of uh, filters. A filter is basically a binary file and it's in kilobytes. So orchestrator would call the filter manager, which in hand would call the filter metadata to get a list of filters, return it to the user. The user would upload an image, orchestrator would send it to the photo manager, which uploaded to S3 and it would return uh, basically uh, like an ID to the orchestrator, give clear uh, decisions. So, for example, I would not be handling failures. I'm trying to build like an MVP or trying to build a prototype. It, it, it needs to be very clear what you're actually trying to build. If you are just trying to build a prototype, then you really don't care about it, like failing scenarios or something like this. You just need one scenario to work. So it, it, it is, it, you need to determine this. You need to be, be very clear. You need to be communicating that really clearly. That's like 90% of the interface. 